Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on the gold market. So, as we have discussed recently, that if statistics will be very strong, so it could change the short term scenario that we actually were following yesterday on the market, and market barely hasn't reached the target that we have specified. Just numbers have been released earlier, this market has just missed an hour or maybe two hours, as I said in today's Euro video, to complete the destination point. So anyway, uh, we have acknowledged that the trade has been closed at the break even just because the target has not been reached and we have have had to out on them just an entry point. But maybe if somebody of you was able to catch some profit on this trade. So um, currently it seems that the scenario that we have uh, just mentioned briefly yesterday that maybe it might be some kind of the ABCD pattern for the downside and the bottom of the right arm still could be formed. It now comes to reality. So we have the reversal session yesterday. Drop was relatively strong. And uh, that makes us, makes us think that we need to consider kind of the ABCD patch with the targets and still keep uh, keep following with this head and shoulders, whatever it will be, either it will fail. In this case, we should be ready for drop below these lows. Market will continue the our action. If it will starts to work, as so we still could get our ABCD pattern to the upside, but nothing is all weird with this pattern, and we need to watch for downside continuation. So, uh, idea of this minor shoulder in that market could follow has been crushed by external factor, which is across domestic product release, personal consumption expenditures, and all the data that we have got yesterday. So we're now turning back to the ordinary shape of this pattern. On the fallout time frame chart. Uh, you can see the market right now stands at some support. This was a collapse and breakout of the support area. On the hourly chart, we could consider this ABCD now. So OP has been reached. So market stands at the support showing the pullback. Next target is XOP. And take a look, it stands 1925 approximately, which, uh, well, well, very close to the daily support. Right there is 1929 and now we're 1930 area. So once the XOP will be completed, that will be agreement with the major support area. And that's potentially the level that we will be watching and considering for a possible take in the long position. Uh, currently, intraday situation on the gold market stands a bit different compared to euro currency. If on the euro currency market it ever sold on the daily chart, here you could see that it is not at ever sold. So relatively free space exists and the market right now just at the support. And it means that we could watch for some pullback first level already has been tested 1957 but potentially if we get some kind of this upside abcd pattern right maybe some garbage triple to sell or something so in this case we could try to consider taking the short position with a possible downward continuation so that's the scenario that we probably could consider right now once again as we usually do with the short entries around the levels there are a few options you could split your position and entering step by step at the both levels or you could try to wait for some final reversal point. Um, the th second approach that we usually uh, apply, um, third scenario, you could entry on a retracement when the downside action already starts. So this is another approach that should Napoli usually uh, also recommend, it's kind of the minesweeper entry technique when the trend turns bearish once again on the hourly chart and you're trying to enter some minor retracements already when extension starts. So this is the third way to enter uh, with this scenario. Choose what you like more that's more suitable to your trading style. Well, that's approximately what we intend to watch on the call market. So let's see.